Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use blend modes in Photoshop to blend two photographs together and then use a layer mask to make it look like one photo is inside of another. Your, your finished project might look something like this example. To begin with, you need to choose a photograph of a subject that is simple and bold. For example, this dove. If this dove had a complex pattern, then when you put another photo on top of it, the complexity of the photos would conflict with each other. So the fact that this dove is, is very plain is why it works so well. So I am going to go to my forest image and use keyboard shortcuts, control or command A to select all, control or command C to copy, then click back onto my dove file and control or command V to paste. And I'm going to select the move tool and position this in the general area of the dove. The next thing that I'm going to do is go down to my blend modes over here in my layers panel and where it says normal, I'm going to click to open that and choose dissolve. Now on a PC you can see that there is a blue box around um, the blend modes. So now I can use the arrow keys to scroll through these one at a time. And what I'm looking for is something that still where you can see the trees, so this one wouldn't look good, but where it blends nicely with the bird. So I think um, overlay looks good. I think hard light looks good. I think I'm actually going to go with um, hard light. Now, now that I can see the bird behind this, I am going to move this around a little bit. I want the f waterfall coming in just the right spot. And I think that looks pretty good right there. All right, the next thing that I'm going to do is add a clipping mask. So here in the layers panel, if you look down at the bottom and you see this rectangle with a uh, dot in the middle of it, go ahead and click that. And you can see that a white um, mask has been placed over this image. Now what I need to do is make sure that there is black in my uh, color chooser over here. And if it's not black, you can click these restore defaults button and then click this arrow, which will flip it so that black is on the top. Select the paintbrush tool over here in the toolbox. And there's different ways to change the size. You can click to open um, this menu here and you can use this slider to change the size or you can use the keyboard shortcuts, uh, which are the bracket keys. So I'm going to use my right bracket to make this brush really large and I'm going to do my initial masking in just big chunks. And then when I get close to my bird, what I'm going to do is reduce the opacity of this so that I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And then I'll reduce the size of my brush with the left bracket and I'll go a lot slower and try to just outline the bird and I'll show you in just a minute I'll show you how to fix it if you go too far and I I want Actually, I'm going to erase everything for the head because I want the bird's head to just show up like normal. I don't want it to have any trees over it. There we go. And I'm actually also going to erase here where the feet are. So for the bracket keys, I'm going to make it small again and erase where the feet and the branches are. And I say erase, but that's not really correct. I should say um, I'm masking. Okay, so now let me turn the opacity back up and see how I did. So over here, 
I'll just pop this menu open and put it back up to 100. And I can see I, I, I masked too much right here. And I can see part of the bird behind it. So let me show you how to fix that if that happens to you. So I'm just going to um, use the switching arrow to switch to white on top with the brush tool. I am just going to add that back. Okay, control zero will make that fit on the screen. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of this some. Um, Okay, so my mask might use a little bit of touching up here and there, but that is basically how this works. So the last thing that I'm going to do is uh, work on the, the background a little bit. So I'm going to get the cropper tool, and I think there's a little bit too much blank area, a little bit too much negative space. I think that looks better. So I'm going to crop it, and then I don't like the way the background is kind of bright green and this is also bright green. So what I'm going to do is go to the background and choose the um, hue and saturation. And I'm going to change this to a little bit more of a warm colored background. There you go. I think that looks better. All right, so um, the last thing that I need to do is save this. And that's it for this project, everyone. Have fun.